Okay, you guys, this is the Micey Switch reference. I'm going to reference to when I'm talking about shutting off, resetting your furnace, per se in your house, apartment, stuff like that. Or if you work in a complex like I do, there's a thermostat. You can have trouble with the wiring, you can have trouble with the 24 voltage. Usually, if I have trouble with the 24 voltage, it's the board on the furnace. The control board is stopping it because the safety is locking it out or something like that. Okay, now we're going to move around to the furnace itself. I know things are going to be out of focus because I'm doing this handheld and <laughs> I'm also manual focus here. Okay, there is stack going out. The one going in sideways is actually for the hot water tank, so they go out one stack. Okay, over here is my three line sets that would be. The clear tube, the condensate line, the bare copper pipe is the high side, and the insulated copper pipe is the low side for when it's, you need cool temperature AC. Okay, behind there is a PVC pipe, and that's protecting the condensate line because the squirrels eat it up. I still have to close up a hole up there, haven't done it yet. I don't appreciate the fireboard. They should not be fireboard installed here because they go bad, they fall apart, crumble, and they get on the A core and they get dirty and they gotta get cleaned. But this isn't the greatest installation. The person who does this installation doesn't work here anymore. Um, he knows what he's doing, and I didn't agree with him on this, but this is the route he decided to take. Okay? Now I'm gonna see if I can take a, a seat here, see if I can adjust things a little bit easier now, including aperture get more light in here all right can you guys see that uh, little window right there that is where the board is behind the PC board that controls this and sometimes you'll see flashing signals there if you see one steady light on this unit it means it's good if you see flashing lights there's trouble codes that goes behind the top door which goes in this top section right here let me see if I can show you that real quick Okay, there is the top door, and there's the information I was talking about. Okay, behind it over there is the bottom door. Okay, so one of the things to look for is that window if your unit's not running. Um, might be because, excuse me, might be because you're just getting a trouble code. The best thing to do is to shut off that red switch I showed you first. Try to reset the unit and the board itself. See if that helps. Okay. Uh, behind there, there is a thermos, uh, a transformer, a low voltage transformer, 24 volts. It's worth feeds the thermostat. It's worth feeds the gas valve and allows the gas valve to open and the thermostat to work. To send the signal uh, to the gas valve to open. Okay whole bunch of wire connections right there is a pressure vacuum switch um, there's a gray hose that comes out of there sometimes it gets dirty you can disconnect the gray hose from the bottom here on top there where is the induction uh, inducing motor and you can actually make sure there's no sediment inside if you suck air through it it'll actually um, you hear a click in the switch right here, letting you know it's supposed to be working. Even though you hear a click doesn't mean it works. There's two uh, leads that connect to that um, pressure switch. And if you bypass them together and the unit goes on, you know you have a bad switch or you have a problem with the a line feeding between the inducing motor and that pressure switch, okay? Things to look for, uh, try to reset the unit, look for trouble codes. Make sure you got 24 volts coming out of the transformer. Make sure you got 24 volts going to the thermostat. <laughs> if you don't, the board is locking it out. Okay. Let's see if we can get a little more light in here. That is as open as I can get it. So the only thing I can do is add ISO. Let's see if I can do that. Oops, wrong way. Okay, that might be a little bit better. We'll leave it at that. I'm trying to do all this manually, so I'm not all this great at this. There goes the gray line that goes to the pressure switch. There's the inducing motor. There's the gas valve. <laughs> this has an on-off on it. I've seen 
um, gas valves where the whole system was trying to work and everything clicked but the gas valve wouldn't open and even the right there the igniter uh, flamed up got red hot but the gas valve wouldn't open two reasons I seen the gas valve didn't open was the gas valve was off and the gas shut off right there was also off it wasn't completely in line it was actually square and I had to adjust it diagonally so I opened up the gas and then the gas valve didn't open that was two of the main reasons I saw uh, the other main reason would be the system the system is locked out because the board or too many times trying to reset okay okay we're doing pretty good so far over here over here you have with the two red wires coming out in the front right here you have uh, high limit just like on a hot water tank a little red tab in the middle you push it in um, never seen one of these go off yet go bad yet but that's what that is in the back I think over there in the back I think there's a different uh, high limit there I guess for the chamber I'm not sure about that one now this one over here or in the back there it looks like the looks like the uh, flame sensor exact I mean the, the igniter is actually a flame sensor this gives me a lot of problems they get dirty corrosion on them, um, oxidation, whatever you want to call it, um, sediment, and I have to scrape it off with a knife and put it back in or change them out. It's cheaper just to get a, carry a bunch of new ones with you, change it out, so you know you're not coming out the back to clean it again, just change it out, work for another year or so, okay? Some of the problems to look for, some of the problems to note, okay? I like to call this a gas tray, uh, people might call this something else, uh, just the bottom of the furnace unit, whatever they want. Okay, this is a down system. So the air uh, that goes through the vent system has a return on top. And the return on top forces the air down. So you will almost always see the gas tray on top and the A-coil, excuse me. So you'll see the gas tray on top and you will see the A-coil on the bottom. Okay. There goes the condensate PVC line going to the condensate pump. The plastic tubing going up. And it goes across uh, here somewhere <laughs> and gets picked up there, okay? Okay, there goes the condensate line right there. Now you guys can see that, okay, the clear tubing, okay? A coil is a different story, we'll discuss that later when it comes to the cooling season. Right now we're in the heating season. So I'm trying to give you as much little detail as I can if your furnace is not working. Move my seat back, sorry. Your furnace is not working what you might um, look for, okay? So you got your pressure switch, 24 volt supply, 24 volts to the thermostat, 24 volts calling on the gas valve, make sure the gas is on, um, both at the gas valve and at the gas line. Uh, you will see your igniter light up. I have seen these igniters with that white clip right there and it's broken. I have seen them broken. Uh, actually cracked right in half. <laughs> um, not many times. Never had to reset the high limit to change it one or twice. Uh, never got a trouble call for that. Um, flame sensor. Had to clean a lot, change a lot. Get the line going. I hope this is hopeful to get you guys at least look at your system. If it's not working uh, before you have to call someone, you want to turn the power off. Don't touch what you don't know what you're touching. I use a multimeter a uh, BK position TRMS uh, so it's about less than 3% inaccurate uh, both ways so about 2% so it's very very accurate and it's much better than per se an analog meter with a needle those things can be up to 30% or more <laughs> inaccurate so not a good deal when you're working on something so position uh, precise like this uh, for voltage and vehicles and something like that okay I guess that's all I have for you guys. If you guys have any more questions, let me know. Until the next one, don't forget to look at your trouble calls. If you can't find nothing else, that might at least help you when you call the guy. Tell him uh, what you, he might bring the right part. He doesn't have to go back and forth. Okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.